was born blind. I'm, I'm the segregated child. I'm the discriminated against. I am somebody who is really interested in technology. If I have my way, I would love to uh, be a programmer. So my name is Junai Ahmed Adebowali. Junai is my surname. Ahmed is my name. Adebowali is like my middle name. Um, I was born in a good state, a boy way to be precise, but um, born blind um, into a family of five. I lost my father according to what I was told by my mom, who is also late, when I was a year old. I study English education at the University of Illinois, and I'm currently at 200 level. It has not been easy. Um, for me, as a blind person, like the only blind person um, in the family, and um, you know the issue of um, when the father dies in Africa setting or in Nigeria setting, I should say. Um, it, mo in most cases, it is the woman uh, being responsible for everything, and my mom was a petty trader at that time, and herself does not really care because um, she believed that there is no much that can be gotten from somebody who is uh, visually impaired. So I got through the School for the Blind at Jebubo, where I had my primary education. It was through a friend. And because the school was free, um, it, it was easy for me. But I started the struggle when I got to secondary school uh, because as it, at a point when I was in GSS3, she called me and said she could no longer be responsible for my education. Uh, knowing what, I mean, knowing not what to do, and I do not, you know, wanted to drop out as at that time because I knew quite well that the only thing that can sustain me as a visually impaired person is to have education. Um, that's where that's 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 where my own interest lies. So since then, I started moving from one churches to another mosque, writing people, talking to people to be of help, and it was stressful. But that was how I finished my secondary school. Finishing secondary school, there was no financial backup to go to the university for so many years. But um, I finally got hold of it um, during the 2021-2022 admission to the University of Illinois since I have been trying, not because I have failed my exams, but because the financial cap I mean, capability has not been there. Um, by April 16, um, this, this last month, I was 38. Personally, I, I have what I do for money, um, but it's not, it's not something that comes in like regularly. I, I know a bit of computer uh, because I learned how to, how a blind person can use computer and other um, ICT devices um, through which I train people who will be interested in learning and uh, will be willing to pay. And do I train? There are people like me, there are people who are blind also. Some of them I, I, train, I train for free when they cannot afford to pay. Some of them that can afford to pay, they need to pay me for the service. But like I said, it's not something sustainable. It, it's something I hardly get maybe once or twice in six months at times. So majorly I depend on asking friends, asking um, people around me who cares about, um, you know, about my well-being for help. And that was what I experienced, you know, in the last... Um, semester when i when we resumed that was after strike i nearly 
um, could not pay my school fees because I did not realize the money until like a day before the closure. But um, that's, that's how I've been surviving. And it's, it's getting tense because of the economic situation of the country. You don't expect that um, people who actually help you today will be there for you tomorrow because they also have a lot to take care of. So I'm, I'm, I'm just afraid of the continuity of this, I mean, of my tertiary um, education. Hence, the reason I have decided to cry out for help. I am somebody who is really interested in technology. If I have my way, I would love to uh, be a programmer. But the, the educational capacity of Nigeria has not really helped in training people who are blind about the use of technology at their advanced level. Um, but aside that, I'm, I'm, I'm somebody who will also love to be um, someone, who, someone who, who, who can impart knowledge into people. I love training. I love anything that has to be trained. I love imparting knowledge. And I love singing yeah, and writing. And right now, I'm the only um, male out of um, my father and my mother's uh, children. The rest are female. And um, they, they, don't, they don't really care because um, many of them, are, I mean, all of them, yeah, they're married. And um, sometimes it will surprise you that they still even call on me for help sometimes. What I'm just asking for um, from kind-hearted people is to help me fund my education. Payment of school fees, payment of accommodation, and purchase of educational materials that I use um, to foster academic development. That's all I, I need from kind-hearted people.